hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel welcome if you're not new i want to welcome you today we're making tasty rice in a crock pot okay this delicious rice i made it in this crock pot so let me take you through how i made it for you to see all right hello my friends today i welcome you back to my channel if you're new to this channel welcome if you're not new i just want to say thank you so much for stopping by today we're making something very simple and we're using a crock pot like this is a regular crock pot not the instant pot so for this recipe we're just gonna just throw everything into this pot and let it sit um, I call it um, a lazy style of cooking because you just put everything into one pot and just leave it to cook for as long as you want while you go about doing your other stuff or doing your house chores or doing your work so today I'm just gonna make a little bit of rice in this crock pot something very simple and easy okay so this is the direction if i need to plug it in now i'll have to put it i'll have to start it with this tap button but till then let me just tell you what i'm throwing into the pot right here i have some frozen mixed vegetables in this frozen mixed vegetables i have some corn um some carrots peas green green beans okay you can find this in any no frills or any fortinos like right here in canada it's you can find mixed vegetables anywhere okay so right now i have the mixed frozen vegetables i just washed it and put it in the pot though it still looks frozen but you see so i'm gonna put the rest I'm going to slice the onions. I have my onions already here. I'm going to slice it. And I have one and a half scotch bonnet. So I'm I just put the onions and the scotch bonnet and the no cubes in the blender. I'm going to blend everything now and put it in the crock pot. Okay. So guys, this is onions, scotch bonnet, and scotch bonnet pepper and the no cube. already blended so I'm just gonna pour the chicken broth and then put a little bit of salt and put my rice in I'm pouring the chicken broth so right now I have my canola oil I'm just gonna put a little bit just a little bit and I have my rice. I'm gonna wash my rice now and pour it in. So I'm careful with the salt because in the chicken broth, there's already salt and the no cube has salt too in it. So I just put a little now, if it's not enough, I can increase it later. And then I have my rice ready, already washed. So I'm just gonna pour this in. Let me stir it first. Cooking in the crock pot is really, really easy. Because if you have work to do, you can just turn this on, go about your business and come back. And your food is still cooking. And it keeps all the flavor in too. That's the most interesting part of it. rice so at this stage if you have curry thyme any seasoning that you want to put you can go ahead and put it in okay so at this point I'm just gonna cover it up with the lid 
and after a while I'll take off the leaf and use um, foil paper to cover the top just to keep the heat inside the crock pot. So guys right now I just press the start button and I'm looking for program manual says high so low warm or high so I'll leave it on high and I press enter so this will just continue to cook and after a while maybe after about 30 to 1 hour 30 minutes to 1 hour I'll just come and take off the lid put foil paper just to cover cover it enough to keep the heat in for it to cook very well okay and i love this style of cooking because it keeps all the flavor inside everything stays in and it's as delicious as what you cook on your stove top okay This has been cooking for over an hour. I just decided to put this now to keep the, the heat in. Okay, so I'm still gonna leave it for some time to cook. So my dear friends, as you can see, our crock pot rice is cooked. So easy so stressless see so guys try this please and let me know leave your comments below okay thanks so much for watching and see you in my next video Okay, bye for now.